Hey, it's Liz with Team Oily Army, and ooh, that light in the back is not going to be good. I need to move somewhere. That was not a good spot for me to be on in the couch. Let me move over here. Um, wanted to do a quick periscope this evening, specifically for my team. So I see that a couple of team members are already on. Hey, guys. Um, I read, I actually read an entire book this afternoon. Um, let me, let me click over. Right, I'm going to show you the book that I read this afternoon that prompted this call. This is the book that I read this afternoon. It's 80 pages. Took me about a little over an hour to read it. Very, very, very easy read. But the title of the book is Go For No. So you can take a screenshot of that book this afternoon. Or just take a screenshot if you want to. So yes is the des destination. No is how you get there. Okay, so let me turn it back over. on. All right. I'm going to put, put my phone on the stand here. So the reason I wanted to talk to you guys um, about the end of the month in this book, like I said, this book really um, prompted me to want to make this Periscope is because a lot of times once we've met our, our, our minimum goal for the month, um, we kind of like coast or once we've decided, oh, you know what, I probably can't meet the next goal, I'm gonna have to pick up the phone because my dog, my dog, Petunia, she wants outside. Okay, so let's let her outside. Okay, sorry about that interruption. Um, okay, um, once we've either done one of two things, we've decided that we can't go any further, or we've met our minimum goal for the month that we kind of like give ourselves a break. That's what this talks about in this book. Um, we, we just stop and we coast, but it's really, and I, I am, I am, um, basically been feeling kind of like I'm coasting for almost this whole year because I ranked silver in January and I was like, silver, I got my silver. So, for a good three months, I um, I still was supporting my team and everything, but I kind of quit building myself, and um, I lost a lot of momentum with my prospects. So, I've basically over the last two months, Abby, you're really distracting me. My daughter over here is making all kinds of crazy faces. Um, the joys of working from home. Um, okay, so I've had to um, re reestablish my momentum personally with my prospects so um rainbow just said contacting five people every day using my oils Ugh, i missed the end of that um if you copy can you can you re can you tap that in again rainbow now who doesn't love her name seriously rainbow it's like the most awesome name ever billy says hi to abby she's waving hi so Anyway, what I was saying was, it's really important that you start the month strong and you end the month equally as strong because it carries over. So even though like our commission checks and um, go from, you know, the first through the end of the month, your momentum is ongoing. So when you take off, even if it's to go on vacation or for work or whatever, when you take off, you lose momentum. And then you, when you start back up again, you have to work to get that momentum going again. So it's really good if we just don't even think about the month. If we just work from, just keep, keep working until you've met your ultimate goal. Um, of course, it's okay to take time off here and there. Of course, absolutely. But when you take weeks off um, for vacations or you just get disillusioned or you quit contacting your people for a long time or you don't, you're not staying plugged in to stuff, you, you really do lose momentum. So back to the book. The book is kind of, um, I don't know if I'm 100% getting behind it because it, I kind of feel like it's a little bit negative, but maybe I'm just, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going to read it again three or four times to kind of wrap my head all the way around it because basically the premise of this book is um, to work backwards 
to say that you need to figure out, you know, how many people say no in order for you to get a yes. And so let's say that I decided that I get five or six no's for every single yes that I ask for someone to become a new member. And if I want four new members a month, what that's telling me that I need to get 20 to 25 people that say no before I ever even stop. So it's kind of a shift in thinking for me. Um, and maybe it's the right way for me to think, but it's just saying that you should expect no's um, and keep going past them, keep working past them. Because basically it's saying if you're not failing, then you're not sharing enough. That's basically what this book is saying. So consider it, it's a very, like it's an 80 page read. It's written from a, like a fictional standpoint. It's a, um, you know, a hypothetical um, story of a man who is a salesman and um, he, um, anyway, it's just, it's a fictional story. So it's very, very, very easy reading. And now Petunia is in the background here. So anyway, go for no, good read. Think about putting it on your, on your to, to read list. Um, second thing is um, to finish your month strong, start your month strong, but um, don't, don't, don't coast. Don't be, don't let yourself be tempted to coast. But at the same time, like I said, I don't want you to make you feel guilty if you need, feel like you need to take a break. Okay. So is there anyone here on right now that has a question for me since I'm available to you? Anybody with questions this evening? There's always a little bit of a delay, so I have to kind of wait for a second. I'm not getting any more hearts. Oh, I had three hearts, so I'm boring you to death. Okay, all right, nothing right now. Thank you, Amy, for commenting. I won't keep you guys because I don't want to distract you here on Periscope because even Periscope, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, it can all be a distraction. So if you don't have any money-making events um, that you need to do tonight, you don't have anybody that you need to follow up with, there's no red X's in your virtual office, nothing like that, then take the night off. Go spend some time with your family. So um, no busy work. No busy work tonight. All right, guys. So if there's no more questions, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So I'm going to give it 15 more seconds and make sure nobody else has a question. Thank you for the heart. I appreciate it. All right, guys. Looks like everybody's okay. Um, hopefully, um, I'll be able to. Oh, uh, that's not intimidating at all. Alyssa is watching this. Ugh. Okay, so anyway, guys, if you have any questions, please um, you ha feel free to PM me. I am available through the end of the month. If you need me to help you get anyone's orders completed or anything, please let me know. I will be sharing this Periscope on our um, forum page and our business builders page. But please but feel free, even after the Periscope's over, to... Um, you know, swipe to the left or top to bottom to share this Periscope with your team members. Um, I want to make sure everybody knows that I am um, making myself, trying to make myself available every day on a Periscope where you can catch me and ask me questions live if you have any questions. All right, guys. Thanks.